So are you interested in a house by the coast? Well, there's a couple things you might not have thought about. Hey everybody, it's Lisa Moore of PMZ Real Estate in Northern California and today I want to talk about some things you might not have thought about when buying a home by the coast. One thing you have to think about when buying a home by the coast is, are you in a touristy area? Tourists tend to flock to beaches. Everybody likes the beach, and especially in California where the weather is mild and you can come out, it's February right now, and we can get in the water. It's kind of cold, but the beach part is nice and warm. And it's relatively nice and mild down here. We're a little bit further south than what I would call Northern California, so that's why it's a little bit warmer. But as you can see behind me, there are some people out here, <laughs> but it's not too bad. And it's probably not too bad because we are, it is February, um, but it's, this is a smaller, less touristy type area that we're in Pismo Beach. So this is more of a small seaside town. It is a bit touristy, but we kind of, I think we came at more of an off time. During the summer, I bet this beach is relatively um, pretty packed. So keep in mind when you are looking for properties in an area like this, because if you don't like touristy traffic or if you're looking for something that's a little more small beach side, um, <laughs> just keep that in mind. Uh, look for something that's less touristy so you don't have tourist traffic and tourists, you know, lots, lots of busyness in your restaurants and on your beaches and through your neighborhoods because that's where people park to get down to the beaches and stuff if they're not local they don't know where to go so chances are they'll park in front of your house another thing you want to think about with your house is how damaging just being on the coast is the salt air and the sea um, moisture and stuff tends to make metals rust faster. It tends to break down the materials of your house faster. So you are going to need a little bit more maintenance, a little bit more upkeep. And that's just sort of part of living on the coast or being by something like the salty air of, you know, the, the Bay Area, the, the coastal areas. Um, even if you're not right on the water, your house is going to have a little bit of that extra maintenance because just the marine layers constantly coming in the moisture all that sort of stuff it will deteriorate your home and especially metals metals will tend to rest a little bit faster than they would if you're more inland something else you'll want to consider is is your property within walking distance of a beach because if it is and your yard or something has a cut through to the beach chances are people are going to use it they'll probably walk through your property and as much as you want to try and deteriorate them if you have a shortcut through to the pro to the to the beach or something like that chances are people are going to use it without your permission <laughs> because they're tourists they don't know any better so they're just trying to get to their fun beach time faster and if they have to get through your property to do it they probably will a little bit of understanding goes a long way when you have a coastal beachside residence my final little tip for this video is that you should probably keep in mind that even if you buy a residence directly on the beach like all you have to do is walk down a little thing a little embankment to the beach or something chances are you are still going to have people on the beach in front of you um, because it's very rare that you'll find beachfront property that is private and not public use um, most of the coastlines you can't you can't <laughs> stake a claim on the beach itself so keep in mind that you will have people probably parking themselves in front of your home for their little beach short time that they're at the beach and and you're gonna have to be okay with that your property line is not going to include the beach part that's gonna be public use um, like I said every once in a while you might find a private beach part where it's actually locked off for the public but it's gonna be very rare so keep that in mind as well as always, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see a little bit more about Pismo, go ahead and click the link. Um, we had a family fun vacation, so I put that video up here. I highly suggest that if you have a family at somewhere, you bring them because it is super fun, super chill, 
and so far we are loving it. So go ahead and click on that video and I will see you next time. Bye. Give me a hug. No, get away from me. I'm trying to film a video. I'm literally, no, <laughs> get away. <laughs>